everybody. Hope you're all well. It's Boxing Day today, uh, so I just uh, come down to feed water the chickens, clean them out. Um, they're alright, doing well. Uh, plenty of water left, plenty of food left. So, uh, but it's always worth coming down to check. Just you know, I hate for them to be hungry or thirsty. Um, not done much today, uh, gardening-wise. I was thinking about doing some more bark, but my back is killing me today. It's not the worst it's ever been, but it's, it's getting there, so I need to I need to give it a rest. So I've I know I said the other day that I wouldn't be doing any more work to the new year, but I've had it in my head that I might get a couple a couple of jobs done between now and and New Year's Eve, but I don't think I will now. I'll just come down again in a couple of days to feed and water the chickens and clean them out, and that'll be it. And I'm going to give myself uh, a good week off doing anything allotmenty. Um, just just chill out really and get get my back better. So uh, that's all. I hope you all had a good Christmas. Um, again, nothing much to report other than the chickens are doing well and the kale still growing. That's about it really. So um, have a good new year people and until next time, speak soon. Hi everyone, how you all doing? It's uh, sun setting. I don't know if you can see it or not but uh, yeah, got uh, ended up doing a bit of shopping, so I ended up getting late today. So I think it's the latest I've been down the allotment over the winter. Uh, the sun's going down, quite nice actually. Anyway, just thought I'd show you the uh, festive chicken run. Uh, had some spare um, uh, tissue paper left over from a Christmas hamper, so I put it to good use. So there we go, festive nest box. Hopefully they should like it. <laughs> anyway, it can go in the compost bin in a couple of days. They seem to be quite happy. It's quite cold today. Isn't it, girly? What do you think? Hey? What do you think? Ow! Ow! You're pecking me now. Right. Let's get back to it, eh? The moon's out. And the sun's setting. Quite a nice town to be down here, actually. Quite pretty. Peaceful. Sure, Mr. Fox will be about soon. Anyway, guys, till next time, speak soon. Hi, everyone. How are you all doing? So, uh, come down the allotment today, well, tonight actually, uh, to uh, check on the old chickens. Um, it's uh, been really wet around Shropshire the uh, last few days so much rain I've got so much things to bring down so many things to bring down in my trailer but I just can't uh, get the trailer down because of the, the amount of mud and stuff there is so uh, everything's on hold really at the moment still got lots of bark to put down but I'm doing a little bit at a time uh, you know not killing myself with it we had some serious winds um, last couple of days Storm Eileen I think it was, something like that uh, and uh, the uh, tree over there has lost a uh, branch it's come down in someone's allotment thankfully it looks like it hasn't damaged anything and there doesn't seem to be much in the way of damage other than a few uh, cloches that have blown over I've lost a couple of panes at my greenhouse, but they're perspex, so they can be. Uh, well, one of them is perspex, one of them is glass, but they can be replaced. Chickens look good, so uh, I'll spin the camera around. You can have a look yourself. <coughs> so there they are, chickadees. I've kept them in today, obviously, because of the weather, as you can see. My barricade has been a bit battered by the wind. 
but uh, I've been doing my paths and I thought I would show you uh, what I do. Basically, all this is is free mulch bark from tree surgeons. What happens is the tree surgeons chop down branches like from trees like that and they put it through a big shredder and it gets mulched down so you get leaves and bark chippings and it's pretty good for paths and stuff and you'll find that it'll keep the weeds down as long as you put it down thick and in about three years this is becomes really really good soil so it's you know if I want to move a bed say I want to make a raised bed here in a couple of years time no nothing to move no gravel just put it straight on top basically um, as I've said to you before my paths haven't been done for about two years now I thought I heard the gate go sorry as I've said, said um, my paths haven't been done now for about two years so as you can see my old paths looked like this get to the chicken wire or like that there and the weeds do come through but all you do is hoe them these are weeds that have just grown end of autumn you just hoe them off and then dump a load of this on top and every time you can get hold of some more bark which is normally free from the tree surgeons or you just give them a drink and by that I mean you know 20 quid for petrol money they're normally quite happy to and I've had about six ton of bark for 20 quid so uh, bonus really and it's a good way of doing your paths my plot is actually really waterlogged in places because there used to be an old stream that run over where that pylon is pylon oh where that telegraph pole is over there it used to come all the way down went through there and where that white cottage is down there they've actually got the stream in their garden so there's a natural water table here so it's quite nice to raise the paths up as I've done and it gets you out in the mud as you've seen from my plot from the last few uh, weeks it gets quite muddy in places so the, the spark technique works really well so uh, hopefully it will uh, inspire you all to hunt down your local tree surgeon give him your mobile number and say next time you've got a load of bark chippings can you drop them off for me and in a lot of areas like they do around here uh, that they have to pay to get rid of them they have to pay like 50 pound a load or something or even more than that in some places so they are more than happy well like i said most of the time they'll do, do it for free but if you slip them a bit of cash the chances are that they'll come back to you again so it's uh, it's, it's worth it so i uh, hope that helps guys and uh, now's the ideal time to do it really especially with the storms about there'll be lots of uh, trees being chopped down and and shredded up and in the springtime as well there'll be uh sorry not the springtime after the springtime when the birds have nested there'll be a lot of people landscaping their gardens so um you're, you know this is a this is a resource that you should be able to get loads of don't know how well you'll do in central london because I, I they sell everything down there don't they they'd sell their grannies if they could just kidding just kidding uh, but I'm sure you can find it cheap. Uh, I mean, I've, I've seen it actually uh, from places like Travis Perkins for uh, 40 pound for a one ton bag. And to be perfectly honest, that's pretty reasonable when you think you're getting a ton of bark for 40 quid. You go to a garden centre, you're paying five, six pounds for a 50 litre bag. So uh, anyway, guys, I won't keep it because I've got jobs to do. But until next time, speak soon.